This video is going to optimize both Windows 10 and 11 for gaming, cutting out all the BS that pretty much does nothing for your performance. So we are going to get straight into this. If this video helps, like you did all these people on screen, drop a like, subscribe. And without further ado, the first thing you want to do without any softwares thus far, we want to go into update. So let's just search up update, check for updates. And in here, you should have an option to pause your updates. Now you can do this indefinitely. I recommend maybe two weeks, four weeks, and just generally disabling this top option here. You don't want the latest updates because if they're unstable, this will really tank your performance it also could create security issues but that does not mean we never want to update windows we just want to have control over when we update windows and i will show you a tool that will help with this but for now let's just do this and go into advanced options and generally you want to disable all of these up here this is more about convenience but you can change these to manual and ensure that windows won't try and restart your pc like mid gaming session if you have any optional updates that relate to drivers get them updated and going into delivery optimization under download options changes to percentage of measured bandwidth untick for foreground limit and change background limit to 5%. This will ensure that anything that updates in the background is not using a ton of your bandwidth and thus tanking even your frames. Yes, your frames. This obviously has a direct effect on your network. So yeah, when bandwidth is taken up, your ping is going to be increased, which will induce network lag. But your network adapter is also dependent on your other hardware like your CPU. And if it has to keep pinging it and the harder it works and the more it has to keep pinging it, this is a CPU cycle, which can even affect your FPS in some cases. But moving on, why are we in settings? We now want to remove all our background apps. I also recommend going into task manager, go to startup apps and disable anything that you really don't need to start with your PC. You'll be surprised how much you have in here. Things like Discord, Brave, Epic Games Launcher, Valorant even, I don't know, whatever it may be, get rid of it. These things you'll forget about, they'll go down to your display tray down here, hide away and run in the background, taking up a ton of resource. You can also disable background apps, which I'll show you a little later, but we now need to remove Windows apps because all of this is bloatware. If you go into the search bar, just type in remove and you'll find add or remove programs. In in here you want to just literally uninstall everything that you do not need it's going to be a lot i've of course already done it there's things such as like web media extensions and anything honestly anything that i have in here you do probably need things like microsoft store you can't uninstall them anyway microsoft edge may run into issue issues if you uninstall that but i'm talking things like candy crush and your calculator those futile windows pre-installs like linkedin and outlook or mail and onedrive you don't need any of them for gaming it's as simple as just finding it clicking the three dots and pressing uninstall you will have to wait a little bit and if you scroll down actually to system components there are some secret things in here that may hide away that you can also get rid of but these two you definitely want to keep my general rule of thumb for safety is just don't delete anything which you're hesitant whether you should or not let's say you think maybe you require it go on google do a quick search you'll find a reddit post somewhere and it will help you out and at this point i think it's safe to say we should create a system restore point i know that sounds scary but it isn't because i don't trust what i'm showing you in this video i don't think it will have a problem but windows can be temperamental at times and if you ever need to revert anything for whatever reason, this will help you do that. It isn't scary whatsoever. You just literally press right here, create. You can call it, I will like this video and press create. And all this means that if something happens to your Windows, let's say it gets corrupted, which has never happened from one of these videos. So it's more future proofing to be safe. But yeah, you can go back to this restore point and it will be like you never touched anything. Now moving on, privacy settings or privacy and security. There's going to be a lot in here. As you can see, a lot that is going to be running if you have never touched it. Things like speech, turn that off. Inking and typing personalization, turn that off. Camera and microphone and voice activation. I wouldn't touch them for the most part. Notifications. I turn mine off personally, but sometimes you may need them. Account info. Turn that one off. Basically, all of these contacts, calendar, phone calls, call history, email, tasks, messaging, radios. Who who uses radios? Other devices, app diagnostics, automatic file downloads. All of these documents, you don't really need that. Some of you may. That's one to look out for. And downloads, yes, have these two on. But everything else, pretty much. Pictures and videos, again, subjective. I don't use any of these personally i just you know save pictures and videos to my downloads folder or my drive and i create different folders so i don't actually use like the default windows or photo library and music library i don't think anyone uses this either so turn them both off and the last two don't worry about those but yeah the trend is most of these will be off and something that many people don't talk about is if you go to file explorer go to this pc find your primary drive right click it go to properties and this option right here allow files on this drive to have content indexed in addition to file properties turn that off it's probably by default ticked turn it off and press apply. It will take a little while to load, but this is going to turn off indexing or search indexing. And while it may affect functionality in terms of, you know, when you search up, I don't know, Valorant, for example, it can for certain applications of certain games struggle to find them, but that is literally it. And I've never personally had a problem with it. And also there is an option literally right here to turn it back on. But yeah, no, this actually has a drastic performance increase. And if there's ever an application that you can't find, you can just figure out yourself where it's located. For example, I know that all my games
games are in here. I can go gaming OS, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and I can launch Fortnite literally through this. I know that's really tedious, but I guess my other suggestion would be before you do this, if you haven't done it yet, just find your game, right click it and pin it to start. Mine's already pinned. So let's say for example, Epic Games Launcher, I can right click this and pin to start. That's going to put it right here, or I guess you can put it in your taskbar. And it means you really never have to search for anything. They're all just one click away. All right. And now we have covered those steps, the basics. They are like the bare minimum and something you should do on all your systems. Every time you get windows, we're now going to get into some more technical things and they aren't really technical. It's just a, it's just a program that streamlines this process. So first of all, I actually don't need my browser for this. I can just provide you with exactly what you need. You want to go to PowerShell or command prompt. For me, command prompt didn't work. And for some of you, it won't. So in that case, try PowerShell either or right click this run as administrator. And I'll put the launch command in the description, but essentially IRM space quotation mark HTTPS semicolon slash slash Chris Titus.com slash win quotation mark. I think I just said exclamation mark here quotation mark space line, whatever this is called IEX. I'll just put it down below. You can just right click copy and paste this from the description and paste it into here. It should look like this. Press enter. And what this is going to do is going to launch and load via GitHub this Windows tweaking utility by a guy called Chris Titus. You can check out his website as you've seen it just there, christitus.com slash win. Completely legit. If you really want to, you can download it from his website and throw it into something like Virus Total, which will tell you that it's completely safe or just check out his YouTube channel. He's massive and 100% legit. And in fact, as I mentioned, it's on GitHub, which means it's probably open source and you can check everything out here. This is just a way of opening the program in the PowerShell so that it doesn't install onto your system. It isn't binded, which means as soon as you press close, you don't have to uninstall anything. This is completely gone. And of course, if you need to change anything, you can run it again. And you know, there's options to reset, but enough of the waffling. You want to go to tweaks. And for most of you just click standard here and it should select a lot of options. But what I'm going to do is go through some things at hundred percent. Make sure you have tick. There will be some stuff that I'm not going to tick here and standard will cover. So for most of you, you want to go to recommended selections and press standard. It's going to tick everything that you literally do not need. Now, all of this only if you followed this full video thus far to this point, and I'm sure all of you have, if there were things like, for example, locations, services or location tracking in the privacy settings tab in windows that you purposely didn't get rid of because you needed them. I don't know why you'll ever need this, but let's say you did. Yeah, obviously untick this here. Wi-Fi sense. Some of you may need this again. If you have location tracking, maybe yeah, you'll untick this. But for most of you, yeah, keep these both on. A telemetry, as you can see, it says this will lock many edge browser settings, which can be an issue if you use Microsoft Edge. I do not recommend you use that though, because it's incredibly, I guess, bloated by default. It uses a lot of resource, especially if you're using it in the background of gaming sessions. So I would definitely enable this. And as we can't install Microsoft Edge because it's tied to a lot of other system operations, just dismiss it. Don't use it as your default browser. Go into install and download Brave. This is by far the best browser out there. It's privacy focused and off those tabs it saves memory to increase performance. This isn't an ad, but Brave, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. And back to the tweaks tab. Advanced tweaks. Don't mess with any of these unless you really know what you're doing. If you're watching this video, don't mess with any of these. Customized preferences. Yeah, these are completely up to you. Make sure mouse is Acceleration, sticky keys, both of these are turned off. Go into config, ignore all of this. Don't worry about any of it. If you use like Photoshop and Adobe programs and you already have Photoshop or I don't know, After Effects or whatever it may be installed, Premiere Pro, you can use this to remove Adobe Creative Cloud because it's bloatware and you don't need it. If you have already downloaded the programs you need. Oh, and also going back to tweaks tab, I was, almost forgot. One of the most important things you can do in Windows is your power plan. So go into power options here. You, you want to be off balance and you don't want to be on power saver. And because high performance typically doesn't push as much weight as we'd want it to. You can unlock something called Ultima Performance and it, you can literally do that in one click right here. Add and activate the performance profile. And if it wasn't obvious, yeah, you do have to run these tweaks once you've enabled them. Same goes for pretty much all tabs. Let's say for some reason you grab something here, you'd install features and you'd get a log of all these installations in the PowerShell. But now last but not least, updates as recommended by Chris Titus himself. You want to use security settings right here. Do not do this. Never do this. The full settings, these are the reason you're on this video. So yeah, just click this right here, security settings. And it will basically do what I did at the start the video, but a little more extensively. It means when the updates are unpaused, what will happen is that major feature updates will be delayed by two years, giving you the opportunity to go and grab them if they are then stable. And security updates will be installed after four days, which will give Windows time to revert any security updates if they cause major issues or I don't know, whatever it may be, because some security updates can affect performance and they can actually cause leaks in security, believe it or not. Yes, security updates can cause leaks in security. And sometimes they'll like roll them back and they'll push them off your system and require you to do another one to to correct that. And in waiting four days, you allow time for this. And actually, as this note says here, this only applies to pro systems. If you're on Windows Home, which some of you actually may be, it will probably give you an error when running this. And in that case, just copy what I did at the start of the video and you'll be good. 